about to turn it on. Alright, let's see. Alright, hey, what's up everybody? What's up? How's it going? Mic check, mic check. Hopefully that mic is good. Everything looks like it's up and running. I feel like the music is a little bit too loud, but I could be wrong. You guys let me know what you guys think. I think it might be a tad bit loud. I'm just going to turn it down just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. All right. So, okay. So yesterday we left off with the table. I'm going to nuke the table. Okay. Um, you know, I had a really good conversation with my brother um, uh, this morning. And uh, he brought up some really good points. Um, so I'm going to take some of his advice and I'm going to... Um, what in God's name is this? What is this? Okay, I don't even know what the hell's going on here. Um, okay. Okay, so let's... Um, uh oh, what happened to the controller? Did I accidentally nuke the controller? Hold on, let me back this up. I must have accidentally nuked the controller. Okay, whatever. Um, 
Okay, so I'm gonna nuke the table. We're nuking all this stuff. Hold on. Um, there we go. Cartridge. Just the cartridge. Gonna grab that. Grab that. The table is gonna kill. Okay, so this is a brand new kind of scene. Um, I'm gonna import in, I think, number two. Because I think number two has the controller. Because we just need the controller. Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay. Um,. So let's see, what's these two things? So these, so controller one, controller two, controller one, controller two. So this needs to go. Okay, give it a table, all this stuff. So just, what's in here? Whoa, let's just get rid of this. Controller, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's the work in progress one. So we need that one. Okay, what's this? So delete that. Image plane, delete that. Remove the body. Floor, we're gonna remove as well. And then we're going to take these and I'm just gonna kill the namespace. It's just because when you import something in, it does this. I forgot my water bottle. BRB. I'm just gonna check something with my night bot here. Uh, moderators, let's see, where are you? Okay, yeah, so night bot's in here. I don't know if it's actually doing anything, but okay. Um, so, yeah, so when you have this issue here, let me just. When you have this issue here, what you wanna do. I'm gonna go to Windows, you wanna go to Relationship, no, General Editor, I'm gonna go Namespace Editor, I wanna remove, what the hell is CP? I don't know what this is, I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna delete this as well, Merge with Parent. There we go, okay? And now it just makes it nice and clean, everything's nice and clean for you, okay? Um, okay, now as for this one, so this is going to change a lot of things, right? So this is going to change how things are going to look in Marmoset as well. So yeah, I just had a really good conversation with my brother. Um, and he was just like, dude, you don't seem like you're... Like, make sure that you're... Well, yeah, whatever it is that you're streaming, you enjoy, right? That's what he said to me. Um, and then in my head, I'm like... Yesterday I spent all night modeling a table. And if I look back, I'm like, did I really enjoy modeling a table? Not really, to be honest with you guys. And so he was just like, dude, like you can't, like you have to enjoy what you're doing. If you don't enjoy what you're doing, then people can tell, right? And I was just like, dude, that's really good advice. So I was just like, all right. Is there a way for me to copy these? This I'm just gonna copy that. That 
Okay, so we have that going on. Um, and then we have uh, this one. I'm gonna copy the color here. I'm gonna throw it into... I'm gonna flip this around. And the reason why I'm flipping these around Damn it. I flipped the wrong one around. Hold on. Okay, I want... Okay, let me just do this. redo this. Okay, so I actually want this one to be duplicated. Um, the fill, we're gonna keep... Um, I'm just gonna flip these around here for... Okay. Right, and then we're gonna flip. This around here. Okay, and then we're gonna delete these. Right. Um, we're also gonna take, just gonna take this right here. I think we want the pink. Hold on. Um, I think we want the pink to be in the back and then the white. Okay, so let's, let's do that. So let's go, let's grab the yellow here. And we're just going to go like that. Then we're going to take the pink, take the pink color, we're going to put this in the back. And then we're gonna delete this one. Okay, I think that the shadow. And then we need to make it so that this one is not casting shadow, and this one is. Yeah, there we go. And then let's. So brightness on this one is 1.5. Four. So let's go. Let's go point seven. Let's just make this nice and easy, right? So we're gonna go point seven, and then we're gonna go one point four here. There we go. Something like that. Now the blue. So the blue is doing some pretty nice stuff over there too. Um. Something like that. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll put a catcher thing here. Kind of catch the shadows and stuff like that. Cool. Okay, so we're going to keep it simple. Oh, shoot. Let me just save scene as number four. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to switch my, my stuff around here. Renders, nope. Scene, let's go four. Okay. So I've been changing my mind a lot on things, but I think this is the right call. Um, cool. So we got that going on. Um, okay. Um, let me just make sure that everything's on properly here. Everything looks fine. Okay, sweet, 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 sweet. Okay. Okay, so let's um, let's work on the controller today. I want to need to make a low poly of this and clean this up a bit because that's looking pretty dirty right now. Um, it's definitely not uh, ready or game ready at all whatsoever. Now this wire is looking pretty. Um, hold on, let me just close this down. Uh, this wire obviously needs to be um, a little bit more high def, right? That looks a lot nicer. Um, now I have to be careful though because this could get really that's 20,000 right there triangles right 
So we gotta be careful where we wanna put this stuff. Um, I'm gonna insert some edge loops though, and hopefully this uh, makes this a little bit nicer. All I'm doing is I'm just pressing shift right now. Kind of give it a little bit more edge loops. So it doesn't look so faceted. This is definitely not optimized right now. But that definitely needs some edge loops here. Oh boy, that's not what I wanted. Ooh, why is that looking pretty bad? Okay, we'll have to figure that out later. to make this look a little bit nicer whoa geez what happened here rotate these so it looks a little bit nicer it definitely had a bad form there we go. I'm just gonna take these edges and just gonna soften them there we go that's gonna look a little bit a lot nicer compared to what it was before trying to figure out how did I let's go back to Marmoset how do I okay yeah yeah I have it as a little thing there so I'm just going to select this I'm just going to export this as, as FBX um, controller there you go it looks a lot smoother which is exactly what we want Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so now let's focus a little bit more on the controller itself. Let's give this a little bit more definition. So I'm just taking a look at my um, reference here. The controller. So right away, obviously, there's um, going to be some edges, right? So let's go in. Let's bevel this. Let's go for like two. I think it's going to be nice. No, that's not looking good though. Let's get some more. S okay, so let's do it like that. Now, obviously, there's some faces here that didn't like that operation, obviously. So we're gonna have to go in and we're gonna have to figure out how to make this play nicer with each other. So I'm actually going to redo that. 
Okay, so that one. Bevel looks nice, it's just now we need to figure out what's going to play nice, right? So that's as nice as that's going to play. Let's go. Should be okay. If we smoothen it. It's looking all right. Um, so we need to do a little indent here or inset on the controller. So we're gonna work on that right now. Extrude faces. We're gonna go to uh, thickness. We're gonna pump, bump it in. It's a tad bit. We're gonna put the crease tool on, and then we're gonna crease this just a little bit. Let's not crease it. Just bring it in just a little bit. Let's uh, soften this edge here. Let's see if that helps it. Yeah, there we go. That that does a decent job of doing what I what it is that I wanted to do. Um, Cool. And then for this one, hmm, what we can do is we can bring it out like that. We can also kind of do the same. Select it like this. Um, actually, let's go multi-cut tool and let's just put in another ring here like that and then let's just select that face edge and we can just extrude it is that even worth yeah let's do it um, and then we can go thickness in by like 0.1 in point 0.1 is too much um, let's go like 0 0.05 negative 0 0.05 Negative point zero point two five. Yeah, don't even know if that's worth it to be honest with you, but it's there. It's there. Um, I don't. I, I don't know. I don't think that's worth it. Can always just texture that part in. Okay. Um, there's also a little indent here that I noticed as well. This also needs to be put right in the middle. So I just noticed. Hold on. Um, 
Okay, so that's why that's acting weird. Just gonna harden the edges. Mesh display, I'm gonna conform it. Something seems wrong with this these normals here. Okay, I'll have to take a look at that later. Yeah, something's definitely kind of weird with, the, with those normals there. Um, okay, so now we have to look at this and figure out what's going on because this needs to go right into the middle. So I'm just going to turn on the wireframe mode here. And I'm just going to move it into the middle just because should be in the middle of the controller so I, I might have to just move the controller a little bit more into the middle there we go um because i noticed that there's a little indent where this kind of goes in so i'm gonna have to boolean it I also realized that I'm working on the wrong controller as well. I should be working on this one. So I did a bunch of things onto here. So I'm just going to... Okay, so hold on. I'm just going to hide that. Um, sorry, I'm not going to hide it. I'm going to need to duplicate this one. Put it into here. Hide it. This needs to go it's gonna change okay that's not the same I'm gonna put it here and we're going to Forget it. It was pretty easy what I did. So I'm just going to redo everything that I just did. It's not worth me mucking around, spinning things around, and getting the wrong angle. So I'm just going to redo it. Okay, I'm just going to bevel. Just like that. Doing it a second time is going to be a lot faster, anyways. go um, that looks fine um, what else did I do I think that's pretty much all I did so far um, I'm gonna need to do some boolean stuff here um, so that's the center we're gonna center this controller a little bit better and it transforms cylinder let's take a look here at the top I have a top view somewhere of this of the controller sorry I'm just looking at my uh, pure ref on my other screen okay so that's what it kind of looks like so I'm going to use um, so the controller hole is kind of like that flares out so 
just gonna go something like that. Um, where is it? Crease plus tool. Go for bulls here. Um, just gonna scale this down a little bit. We're gonna kind of squeeze this in. Okay. And then hopefully now when we put the, the wire in there. So this is where I need to know how thick the wire is. So the wire is not that thick. Um, but it's okay, that's easy to, that's easy to fix. Okay, so we got that going on for us now. Um, I do notice that the Okay, so let's it kind of flares out, so how do I want to do this? Um, we'll leave it. We'll leave it for now. We'll leave it for now. I'm not too concerned with it, to be honest. Um, let's turn off this wireframe. I want to see. So there's a. The edges are pretty hard here. So let me see how it looks like when I soften it. Yeah, okay, that's, that's that's a lot better. So I'm just gonna soften these edges here. Kind of give it a little bit more rounded look. Yeah, that looks a lot better. this just going so hold on here what's going on here hide that as for these um, I'm noticing that it's not as it's not actually how they look so I'm gonna fix these in a sec um, and these so now these buttons so let's focus on these buttons a little bit um, so right away Something that I notice is a good bevel here, something like that. Um, I'm gonna do two segments, and the reason why I'm gonna do two segments is I'm gonna show you. I'll go like that. It looks kind of like that it kind of like bumps inwards so I want to kind of accentuate this a little bit more kind of sell that yeah I think that's probably gonna look pretty good there and then what we're gonna do is that it's pretty soft too so we're just gonna soften it's kind of hard to see how it looks let me put some AO on I can't really tell. Hmm. I don't know if it's worth it to make that little detail. It's okay. Something like that. Okay, there we go. It's not, it's not too bad. How's it going, man? It's going good, man. It's going good. Welcome to the channel, by the way. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, this is the controller. This is for a scene that I'm working on right now. Um, where is it? It's just, just a little thing. So 
sorry, man. Yeah, I'm not used to having people actually watching me, to be honest with you. I do need to make it a habit to check over once in a while. I wish that they actually had a way that like, like it dings or something so that I know that someone's messaging on, on the chat, but. Oh, you have a 3D printer. Oh, dude. All right, so real question though, okay? I've been looking at 3D printers too, okay? How good are 3D printers nowadays? Because I remember like maybe a year or two years ago, they weren't that good. Um, and thank you so much for dropping by and, and um, uh, helping me not fill in uh, the air. Because yeah, I mean, it, it's, uh, it's hard to talk to yourself sometimes. So it's a lot easier when someone's actually here. But yeah, um, really, okay. Now, I don't know if my channel, I don't think I've set up anything that um, doesn't let you like post links, but if you can post the link of your, um, of your printer, I would love to see, I would love to check it out off stream because again, like I said, like I've been hearing a lot of good things about them. I just... I'm really lazy to do a lot of research and I don't know who to trust when it comes to 3D printers and stuff like that. I stream on working before, but it's like, what do you do when there's no one talking to yourself gets old? Yeah, yeah, that's true, dude. That's how... That's how That's how I feel as well. Um, when I'm talking to myself, but... I find that lots of people rather... Lots of people rather have you talk to yourself than not talk at all. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I totally feel you. It's, it's pretty tiring. Now, this really throws me off at the fact that these buttons are actually on the side. Now, hold on. I never realized that as a kid growing up, that they were on the side like that. But when you look at the reference photos, they are off-centered. It's so weird. Now don't mind, my workstation is destroyed though. I just got this today. The desk is coming in tomorrow. Nice, dude, nice. So what have you printed so far? Um, let me see here. So this obviously this needs some some loving. Um, it's not gonna need the bottom faces. I'm just gonna delete that. Jesus. Um, let's go with something like that. Let's put in two segments. There you go. That, that already looks 10 times better. Calibration cube, a bench sheet, and a few spheres. Okay. Calibration cube. A bench sheet. What's a bench sheet? And a few spheres. I want to see what the thing can do before I start developing the models for it. Oh, I see. Okay, so you're, you're testing out with simple simple objects first and what are the results so far that you've seen with the printer i guess you kind of answered that already earlier by saying that it's really amazing but i'm just curious okay actually you know what i actually moved this controller so that's why things are off-centered actually I need to bring in my reference again. Which plane? Reference, where is it? Controller. There's... Okay, so now that I know that the wire is the center. Okay, things aren't things aren't way off.
Okay, so let's see. Yeah. I'll show you. Let me grab a few pictures. I'll be back in a sec. Awesome, dude. Awesome. Thank you, man. I'd love to check it out. What a nice guy. What a nice guy. Coming in here, chit-chatting. First, so that's like that. We gotta move this slightly as well. Move this slightly as well. Okay, so now things are better aligned here. Perfect. Let's hide that. Okay, let's quickly save this before we get in trouble here. Okay, so now I need to make a little circle for that little controller pad. Again, I can do that in Substance Painter as well. So I might just do that in Substance Painter. Don't really feel like spending too, too much time on doing that if I don't need to. Um, I also noticed that these also have um, like indents in them as well. Oh boy, what do I want to do with that? I can create more bevels. You can tell things are starting to look really... Like look at the normals on this. Let's just take a look here. No, that's why. Soften this up. What's going on here? that everything looks good mmm it's not liking this weird I see. It's not liking this weird... Okay. Just to soften this up here. So we got the controller looking decent here. Um, okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do soft and hard edges for now, and then maybe these ones I will soften just because I know that that's gonna soften properly, and then the other one we'll leave at the moment. Okay, um, so the next on the thing that we need to do is we need to get this going. Um, this is obviously not looking correct, so I'm just going to create another cube. I'm just going to move this up here. Because I'm looking at my reference right now, and they definitely don't look like that. So, um, let's
Thank you so much, Steam Man, for, for the follow. I, man, I don't know. Is my Streamlabs working? I don't even know if my Streamlabs is working. Because nothing popped up when you followed, and it should have. So let me just chat here. Where's my alert box? I'm just gonna test. Yeah, it's definitely not working. So let me see here. Definitely not working. Now it's working. Okay, so hmm. Okay. So we have that turned on now. Thank you so much, Steam Man, for the follow. Really appreciate it, man. Um what else is there? There's um Nightbot. Notice Nightbot's not working right now either, so I want to make sure that I turn that on. Um log into Twitch, authorize. Sorry, I'm kind of doing this at the same time here. Um, timers enabled. Okay, I don't know if it's actually working. It's the problem. Settings, display. Okay, I, I don't even know. How does it work? I don't know how this works. Oh shoot, did someone get timed out? Uh oh. Oh darn, okay, so Nightbot is working. Okay, hold on. How do I turn off Nightbot here? Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. How do I turn off Nightbot? Nightbot. How do I allow people to post links? I don't, I don't know how to do that. Let's see. Um. How do I do this? Uh, okay, so let's part channel. Okay, now Nightbot's gone. Try it now. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if you can post links. Um. I wish I knew how to. Oh, there we go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry about that, dude. Okay. I wish I knew. Oh, dude, that is so cool. Hold on. I just want to show everyone here. <laughs> I believe you, man. I believe you. Dude, that's really neat. Holy cow, man. Oh, my God, dude. You're going to make me spend money. This ship is so cool. Oh, my God. I can't. Like, this is what's gonna. People are gonna like sculpt cool creatures for like their D and D projects and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, damn. So it can only look better. That's that's what you're saying. Like right now, this is a default setting. So you're saying that it, these are only gonna look better. Dude, that's crazy, man. That's crazy cool. Well, thanks for sharing that, dude. Like, that's pretty sweet. Hold on here. Let me just um. Okay, let me make Nightbot join again. But I really wish... They gotta... There's gotta be an easy way for me to... Um, to like allow links or whatever. Because that's really annoying. If it's gonna like ban people accidentally or whatever, right? Um, oh, links. Oh, so I, so I can... Disable. Okay, okay. Next time I know, I can just disable. I, I'm seeing it right now. Just thinking, print some massive stuff. Really? Okay. Dude, man. Well, hey, when you start printing out some stuff, you let me know. Like, I want you to sh to share some of that stuff um, with me, man. Because that that looks so so cool. Obviously, if you don't mind, right? If 
if you want to keep that stuff private then go right ahead but I would love to see some cool stuff when you start printing printing them out uh, printing them out and I think that's one thing that's really cool about being a 3d artist right now is like that opens up so many new doors right because you can start selling your models and stuff like that for people to print out it's just so sweet Let me tell you something about ZBrush. ZBrush is probably the best investment that I've made as an artist. It's unfortunate that I don't get to, that I don't use it enough for the license. Like I bought the license, but it's such an amazing program. I wish that the box modeling tools were so were better in ZBrush, so I don't have to use Maya. And I know that they're improving the box modeling tools for my or for ZBrush, but currently it's still um, more like it's way way more inferior than than Maya, for example, which is really which is really unfortunate, right? Because I love ZBrush. Yeah, I mean, like, I've seen some people use it, but, man, the uh, the control that you get um, using, um, using Maya is just so much better. It's just a bevel to her fraction. So it's a pretty tight, like it's not too tight though. Let's go something like that. I don't know, it's pretty tight. Let's go something like that. So what are you planning on uh, sculpting and 3D printing? Cosplay props and jewelry. Oh, cool, dude. That's awesome, man. Oh, man, that's gonna be like life changing for someone who does cosplay. I, I can't, I, I like, I can't imagine. The jewelry can tell source to be printed in gold from Shapeways. Shapeways? Holy cow, you're talking like a totally different level right now. Like, I don't... I don't even know what that means. I don't, like, what, what, what are Shapeways? That's definitely a better. It's a, it's a phenomenal way to make some extra money. Okay. Oh, that's what you're saying. Oh, so you're making like the little the molding kind of things, and then that way they can put the the gold, 
and then they could print out the actual jewelry. Damn, dude, that's that's wow. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Oh shoot, sorry dude. Oh no, no, oh no. <laughs> okay, my bad dude. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Hold on. My bot, leave him alone. I'm, I'm gonna disable link filtering. I, I hope you're still there. I hope it, it didn't boot you or anything. Okay, so I just disabled link blocking. So hopefully you can you can um, send the links again after you've been. This is how, for 60 seconds. What's what's 600 seconds? I'm trying to think. 600 seconds is 10 minutes. Oh my god, dude! I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm still pretty new to this um, whole live streaming thing. I haven't live streamed in a really long time, so it's really really unfortunate that that happened. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry, man. Nightbot. Nightbot's too good at, at his job. Too good. Okay. What do I want to do with this? Oh. Okay. Obviously that's do I want to put... Let's look at the reference again. So there is definitely an indent that goes around. 100%. So what happens if I do... Okay, let's, let's, let's make an indent. Let's see. Against um, Sneeman, I'm sorry that it Nightbot silenced you there. That's my bad. Think here. Let me just quickly save this. Booleans always tends to to break things, so I just wanna. Okay, so Nightbot is actually working because it just finally said something. I'm sorry, dude. Feels bad, dude. Feels bad. Okay. Feels bad. Okay, so I'm gonna use the crease tool again. Bulls. Not bad. Not worth it. Oh shoot. Not worth it. I don't think it, I, I don't think it's worth it. 
going through all this trouble just to get an indent when I can probably just Fake it. You can just fake it. No big deal. Okay, so this is pretty much a controller. Um, so if I go this, and I just kill the history on this bad boy. Just kill this history here, and I just clean this up because obviously this is. Um, it's not clean, obviously. Nightbot, you're too good. You're too good at your job. That's why Nightbot gets paid the big bucks. She's using the multi cut tool. this put it inside I'm hide this for now okay so obviously so now we can see how big this is and obviously it's a little bit too big uh, I'm gonna move the controller up a tad bit more so now we can see I, don't, I actually don't think that it's this thick as well, so I'm going to bring this in a little bit more. And then we're going to squeeze this a little bit tighter. I'm just going to select this edge loop here. I'm just going to kind of bring it in just a tad bit more. Something's really wrong with this. Okay, 
Let's go average. Um, okay, so unlocked it. There we go. There we go. That's that's a lot better. Oh, sorry, dude. Oh my god. All right, all right. So okay, let me let me just now that I know you're gonna you're gonna post something. Yeah, that's super. <laughs> Nightbot's too good at too good at its job. Um, hold on, let me, let me make sure that okay. So I have links allowed now, I believe. It says disabled. This filter allows you to time out and whitelist links. So try it now. And I really hope Nightbot doesn't ban you, because that would not be cool. There we go. Okay. Self reminder to take water and toilet break. Okay, good reminder. Thanks, Nightbot. Thank you. Oh, okay. So Shapeways is up to three months. Get instant prices. Just, oh, okay. That's really cool, man. Oh man. So this is where people are gonna make tons of money, um, making like miniatures and selling their 3D models and stuff like that. Okay. That's good to know, man. That's good to know. Okay, so we got this going on. Let's just save. Okay, save the scene. Let's export this out. Controller. And oh boy. Let's delete that. Let's go import. Did I not? I might. I might not have. Oh man. Let's So this is floating right now. So put that there. Okay, yeah, see, so now this is definitely showing up a lot better. Um, I feel like I need to add a little bit more loops, edge loops around here to make this a little bit smoother. Because right now it's still looking a little bit janky. Yep, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I still, I still have the link thing disabled. So go ahead and post another link if you'd like. <laughs> I don't want to see what the third offense gets me. Good call, man. Good call. I actually don't know what the third offense does either, and I'm the one that that set up Nightbot. So. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, I can see some really cool stuff being made, dude. Oh wow, dude. Right, I'm just gonna show it here. That's pretty cool, dude. So is this what you do for, 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 for a living? Um, I'm, I'm curious. Damn, dude. Damn. That's not bad, eh? That's not bad. So, are you using uh, Maya to do your 3D models, or or how or how are you doing it? 
lot smoother. That was all ZBrush. Wow, so you block everything out in ZBrush? pretty smart actually so how long did it take you to make that ring so let's go So now I gotta do the little controller clipper thing. Okay. This was Two hours. Two hours, but I had it sent back. I messed up some sizing before I could print it. So realistically, probably about five, trying to figure out the rules. The workflow is easy to reproduce once you get it down. Okay, man, that's cool, dude. That's really, really cool. I've never really, like, even thought of doing anything like that before. So it's really interesting to see how people are using their 3D skills um, to make money, right? And uh, to do something that they enjoy doing. So that's, so that's pretty interesting to me. Okay, so now that I know Nightbot's working, I don't want to keep harassing people to subscribe and follow me. So let me just edit that. So when is it? Every 15 minutes? That's not too too bad. Every 15 minutes is not bad. Um, washroom breaks. Let's make sure that this is every like half an hour maybe. There we go. Yeah, dude, I, I really enjoy working at, um, at EA. Uh, no complaints for me, to be honest with you. Um, it's 
it's gonna be my third year already. Um, and yeah, dude, I. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't have any any complaints working working there, and I'm very proud to be part of EA. Obviously, there's lots of, um, you know, there's lots of hate when it comes to EA, obviously. Um, but I've never had any problems with EA, so. I see, man. So, whereabouts are you in in America, if you don't mind me asking? Arizona, okay. Is there is there not a lot of uh, video game studios in Arizona? I guess not as much as um, not as much as uh, California. Okay, I'm gonna delete some of these because some of these are causing some issues. So that okay, so this needs to be beveled. Um, that doesn't need to be beveled. Let's bevel these edges here. Bevel these edges here. Segments like that. You're still gonna get dirty, dirty geo, no matter what you do here. But it's okay. This is still gonna be a little bit easier to fix, I think, than what I was getting before. Okay, that's the thing though. We're gonna have to have different. So we're gonna go bevel here. go here we're gonna do the same thing and this is gonna be a lot less so and then now we're just gonna multi cut here there's nearly none Arizona is all about architecture. Hmm. Damn. I guess, I mean, being in Vancouver, I guess I'm really spoiled when it comes to uh, video game development. Because there's so many studios here. I guess it's kind of like in the being, being in the Bay Area and in, in California. And, um... I guess Blizzard is in... Uh, I'm, I'm terrible when it comes to uh, America Geography. Sand something. I know Blizzard is in California. I know that for sure. But uh, I wouldn't be able to tell you what city they're in. But I definitely know they're in, they're in California. And I know about Santa Monica. No, Santa Monica is Sony. I I should know this, but I don't. Okay. 
Okay, so there. Match display, I'm just gonna go soft harden. Let's go. Yep, that's super fine. And then now we need that little cylinder thing. It's all about California, but the lifestyle is just not for me. Yeah, dude. I feel you, man. Arizona sounds like it's a little bit quieter. Um, a little bit more homey compared to a place like California um, where it seems like everything is just so fast like the lifestyle it's just a little bit uh, faster pace I guess but again I'm pretty uh, ignorant when it comes to that kind of stuff so I, I don't know if that if that is correct or not Arizona's the right amount of fast. Okay, I like that. There's two lines here, so let's go something like... I don't know if the same song is playing over and over again. Like, I really hope not. Let me let me just quickly. I haven't been paying to the, paying attention to the music at all. No, 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 it's not. Jeez, I was like, man, is this thing just playing the same song over and over again? It sounds like the same thing. Set might be a little bit too. This thickness might be a little bit too much. Let me just go. Just a point. There we go. Cool. Should combine these together. Gonna kill the history. We're gonna call this um, sort of plug. We're going to put this into the whip. We're gonna duplicate it. We're gonna throw it into the SNES controllable part. Self reminder to take some water and toilet break. Okay, I should probably put some water here.
Oh my god, dude, you're telling me, man. When I built my new PC, or this PC, oh, yeah, dude, I feel you, man. I feel you. It's not fun. All right. There's our plug. So this is gonna break things again, just because it. I added a new, some new geo. Um, okay. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I thought it was gonna break a bunch of things. So I hate how I have to keep moving this back. Obviously, I have this set up wrong because if I have to keep moving this back and forth, this is just annoying. Um, but should do is I should probably make that pretty flush I think I need to make that smaller so I'm just gonna Okay, let's re-export this out now and see how this looks. I have a feeling this is going to break a bunch of things. Oh my god, I gotta figure this out. This is just crazy how I have to keep... Why is the pivot point so far off, too? Like, I don't get it. Let me just re-import this asset. Okay, there we go. Yeah, something was really mangled with that. Still not small enough, but 
What can you do? Hold on, I gotta delete. Put it right into the center. What's this for? This is just a personal, personal project. This isn't not for work or anything like that. Um, I just wanted to just continue practicing my art you know sometimes when you're at work you don't get to um, model like whatever you want right like when you're at work you're given a task to kind of make something and then that's it right you don't get to kind of model things that you're passionate about all the time so for me this is my way of being able to come home and just kind of model what i wanted and the reason why i wanted to model this was because um when the snes classic came out um i was trying so hard to get my hands on one without having to pay the overly ridiculous uh, price that people were people were um selling them for So I was just like, I was like, you know what? If I can't get my hands on one, then I'm just going to model one. So, so yeah, so that's essentially what happened. Okay, so let me see. I'm gonna save this quickly here. Um, I could work a little bit more on the the cartridge. That's kind of like one of the last things I need to do, and then it goes, then texturing comes right after that. Um, modeling is pretty much almost done in the scene, just the cartridge now. Um, obviously, I still need to clean up the modeling. The modeling is not, like the console is not clean when it comes to model, um, to the modeling part. Like if you look at the wireframes, it's just really, really bad. Well, thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm trying not to. Man, I love the lighting back here, dude. Like, I really wish I could get the lighting to look good over on this side. Okay, I need to fix up my cameras again. So, where's, so this is camera one. So, camera one's got to be something like this. And I'm going to start playing with the fog, the um, depth of field and stuff like that as well. Um, this camera can probably go something like that. So we got camera one, camera two. They look pretty similar. I don't know if I like that. I might want to do something like this. This is kind of cool. Uh, camera three. It's like a close up. Close-up of the S SNES. This one looks almost identical to to this, so I'm probably gonna have to kind of change this up. Maybe I do one that's a little bit closer to to the. Oh my God! I can't even zoom out anymore. Think too close to. Something like that. And five is very similar. So let me see here. I don't think I have too many close-ups of the controller. So I might focus, have one focus on the controller. Uh, camera one, I'm going to give it a little bit more of an angle so it looks a little bit nicer. Here we go. Um, camera two, camera three. So this is a close-up of the console. 
this is that side. I think I should do camera five as a close up of the controller. Something like that, I think would be cool. Okay. Gonna save that. All right. Give me one second. I'm just gonna go get some more water. Okay, BRB. See, like, I'm looking at the scene on my other second monitor, and it's not as bright as what I'm seeing on my main monitor. Which is really, really weird. Um, but it is what it is. Um, give me one second here. What the hell am I doing? Okay, um, okay, BRB. I'm just gonna get some more water. Um, and thanks again, uh, Sneeman, for uh, for coming out and, and hanging out with me tonight. <sighs> BRB. Alright, so thank you so much, Sneeman, for following. I thought I changed my following icon. Oh well. Oh no, I didn't actually. No, no, no. What am I talking about? Let's see. Where is that? Um. There's like goals and stuff like that. I gotta set this stuff up for next time. for my other one um, Test this out. 
Oh no, it didn't work. No sound. It should be that. That's what it should be. There we go. So if I go save. And now if I go test follow. Sweet. That's what it's supposed to sound like. That's what I wanted. All right. So let's continue working on this here. Um, let's uh, work a little bit more on the cartridge and uh, finish that up. So this is the cartridge duped. All right. Let's, let's go over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened to the cartridge? Uh-oh. Let's go import uh, scenes. Let's go to three controller. Where's the cartridge? Cartridge original. Okay, here we go. Yep, so that's cartridge. Okay. Um. Get rid of everything that starts with Okay, so yeah, you see this problem again So to fix that um, Hey man, I've been gone for a little bit. I'm back. Sorry if you said anything if you could 3d print something What would you print? That's a really good question. There's something that I would like to 3d print Damn, dude, that's a really good question. What would, I, what would I like to 3D print? I love... Currently, I've been playing a lot of PUBG. Playing a lot of PUBG. So, I would like to print the level 3 helmet. Probably from PUBG right now. Or my favorite weapon in the game, which is an M4A1. That's probably what I would what I would print but yeah that 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 is a really hard question to ask wow this got mangled hard don't even know what happened here um, Should probably try cleaning this up. Yeah, okay, so first off I'm just gonna get go to general editor and go to um, namespace editor. I'm just gonna remove all this. Delete parent, delete merge with parent, done. Um Self reminder. Okay, now this is Is it actually It's still doing the twenty minutes thing. So Nightbot, Nightbot, you gotta you gotta figure your you gotta figure yourself out here. I changed you to thirty minutes. I'm gonna disable it and then I'm gonna enable it again. Damn, dude, really? Oh my god. See, like, that would be so cool, right? Because this year I went as the... As, like, a PUBG player or whatever. Um, avatar. And the only thing I was missing for my Halloween costume was the, the, the level 3 helmet, which is, like, super cool. 
And then when I saw somebody um, on the streets who had it, I was just like, dude, you're so badass. That's not what I want to do. Screw all this stuff. Let's get rid of all this. Let's get rid of all these. Alright, we'll clean everything up. Things are getting messy here. got really messy over here so we gotta clean this up we gotta clean this up ASAP this is kind of the the negative things of using booleans when you're using booleans um, if you're not uh, using booleans responsibly responsibly you're gonna run into tons and tons of issues like this. Uh, it again, it's not the boolean's fault. It's me using boolean's. Um, not responsibly, and so it's just causing issues now, which is very common. better still have tons of issues here um, but let's just slowly fix these problems again I don't even know if that was worth doing by hand like I probably should have just left it like this whole booleans part here probably was not worth it and I probably could have just textured it would have saved me a lot more time actually then going back and having to clean this up. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to delete this work that I did here. And I'm just going to texture it. Because it's going to save me time. And in the end, I don't think it's, it's actually worth it. Okay, is this not the same height as this? Oh, that's why, yeah. Uh, it was a little bit off. That's why it was looking a little bit weird. 
And this is definitely not matching up with that. There we go. There we go. All right, Let's do that there. Okay, so we cleaned that up. Now it's time to clean this mess up. There's a mess and a half for here. Is this the same song, dude? I swear to God, this is the same song. Okay. Sorry, I just... <laughs> I felt like that was the exact same song that I was just playing, so... Or else I'm going crazy. What am I doing? I can just go like this. There we go. Merge that. I dude, I thought so too, man. I thought I had it on repeat as well. And I, I don't, I, I'm pretty sure I don't. Let me just check, what is, what is this? Loop playlist, shuffle playlist. So, I mean, I don't. Yeah, it's like doing booleans is really good. If you're doing like a super high poly, like if, if you're doing high poly and you don't really care too much about. Oh my god, what's going on here? If you're just doing high poly and you don't really kind of care about the geometry because you're just baking your details and stuff, like then it's fine. Right, but I'm changing my mind on that right now. I'm, I'm kind of like, it's, I don't think it's worth doing it that way right now. And because I'm changing my mind, it's 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 causing problems. Um, but we're almost almost got this figured out, so it's not too bad. It's just, I, I always seem to do this to myself. I always seem to change my mind halfway and it ends up biting me in the butt, but. All right, there we go. So now we got everything looking decent. All right, let's save this. 
and then now let's go take a look at my reference some more and um, let's take a look at the cartridge again let's take a look at some of these details so I'm noticing that like the corners and stuff like that here are pretty soft so let me if I go like this and let me see if I just soften this see how it looks definitely looks a lot better so I might just do that soften these edges a little bit soften these up Let's see how they look when I soften them ooh no that definitely doesn't that, does, that definitely doesn't go well so I can soften these ones these hard edges and stuff on the um, seems to take this pretty well so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna soften those no, something's going on here though Whoa, what's going on here? Okay, something had gone bad. There we go. Okay, we're good, we're good. Turn on display here. Okay, so we got all those. Those are looking good. We're gonna do the same on this side. So Sneeman, do you do you still stream when you're working? No, huh? Is there a reason why you stopped? Okay, so that looks pretty bad. gonna do like that then we're gonna soften Nice, dude. Wow, you stream for two years. Wow, dude. I, I'm assuming if you've been streaming for that long, you got, um, you got affiliated. I'm assuming.
Oh, really? What's going on here? Oh, I see what's going on here. Oh, okay, two years ago. I was like, damn, dude, if you've been streaming for two years, like, you probably have a pretty, pretty big following. I guess that's that's awesome that you that you know how it feels like to be streaming and talking to to nobody, right? That's something that I never really thought of thought about. So, um, you know, maybe tomorrow when I'm at work and I'm watching some streams, I'll uh, hop into someone else's channel and just kind of ask them some questions and. Get their get their chat active or whatever. Cause yeah, man, it, it it's hard, right? When you're starting out as a streamer and you're just kind of by yourself, essentially, and you're just working. I mean, at the end of the day, I guess I'm getting my I'm getting portfolio work done, so it's not. Um, I'm getting personal work done. I'm practicing, so it's not all bad. But it, it's definitely a lot more fun when you have someone inside chat ch talking to you and stuff like that, asking questions and stuff. What's going on here? Yeah, it, it sucks. Sometimes they only need one or two viewers to kick things off. Yeah, dude. No, no, I feel you, man. I feel you. For me, I've tried not to... Oh, what happened to... My other circle. I don't know what happened here. I guess this is completely. Sorry, I, I was gonna say something and then I just got so focused. What happened here? Something went wrong. X minus X. There we go. Yeah, it's definitely pretty chill. Having at least one person to chit chat with you while you're working. It definitely makes a, a big difference for sure. 
so I'm super thankful that you've hopped in today. But sometimes it gets really tiring too to like try and talk all the time. It's like it can get pretty tiring. Like sometimes you just wanna you just wanna focus, right? You don't you don't wanna say anything. You just wanna focus on what you're working on. Let's go for let's go for like three maybe. Yeah, I mean that's why I have um, music running in the background. Just because, dude, man, like it's it's hard, dude. Like I don't know how some streamers do it. Um, so I give I give streamers props, man. I've 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 only been doing this for like two days or whatever, and I'm already like this is hard work. Yeah, dude, you get sub, you get uh, self-conscious, right? Like, like I'm like like right now I'm I'm like oh man like I'm not delivering good content, you know what I mean? Like I'm and I'm just like, and it's hard because this song, I swear to God, I hear the song. Oh, hold on. Is this song on like repeat or something? Oh my god, dude. Is this song again? No, I think the song's just on like a lot. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna change the playlist. I'm sorry, guys. This It's been bugging me. I feel like it's been... Okay. Let's try that, okay? Shuffle. There. So yeah, it's it's tough, man. It's tough. But maybe it's not as bad as as like you think it is, right? Like, as a streamer, maybe it's not that bad, but you just think the worst, right? Because you're like, man, I wish I could be doing more. Yeah, no, you're right, man. It feels, as a content creator, yeah, you, you know, you feel bad because you're like, it's, do people actually enjoy this? Sorry, my lips are for chapped. Okay, I also noticed that there's like bolts or whatever that goes into the cartridge. But I don't think I'll ever show the cartridge itself by like by itself. Uh, I don't know. It's so tough. No, I probably not. It's 
so I don't think I'm actually going to do the bolt. Yeah, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not. I'm thinking about it right now. Like, the cartridge is inside, and you're never going to see it, so. Dude, I couldn't get, get over giving people advice thinking in the back of my head that there was probably a better way to do it. That's true as well, right? That's true as well. Like, I'm sure I'll have people come and ask me for their advice and... You're always kind of like questioning if your advice is even helping them. So, so this was a cool idea and this looked awesome, but it's, again, it's just thinking about what is actually going to be seen and no one's going to see this, so I'm going to delete it. There we go. So now we've got this cartridge. And honestly, probably no one's ever going to see this part either, but I'll leave it just in case I do show it off a little bit. Um, now, as for... These edges... That's making some. That's doing some bad things. So that looks really weird in certain angles. Um, I'm gonna put it into bomber set and I'm gonna see how I'm gonna see how it looks. Cause that looks kind of weird. It looks great in certain angles, but some angles it's just if. So that's a five-sided, that's why it's doing some weird stuff. Okay, so I'm just gonna... That's why I was doing some really weird, really weird stuff. And then that's doing five-sided stuff too, okay, so yeah. Me not wanting to make a mistake while working from others is what got me to stop without a doubt. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, for me... Yeah. I'm just kind of like... People are... People are gonna... <laughs> I've already made tons of mistakes today. So, I guess it's about... Just kind of laughing it off afterwards, right? Okay, let me just save this here. Uh, let's um, export. Let's export this out here. <laughs> Self reminder: take a drink. Yeah, I should probably drink some some liquids here. Uh, meshes, cartridge. Boy. Oh, it actually doesn't look that bad. 
Uh, okay, okay, cool. Uh, there's a hard edge on top there that I should probably get rid of. to expand that lid a little bit more and let me just look at some of my references here and I feel like what I have is a tad bit oh okay 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 so that is pretty accurate okay I see what I did wrong here now looking at the references okay so let's go back and take a look at the cartridge. Um, Probably don't even need this lid first off, but I'll, I'll, I'll just hide it for now. Um, but what's wrong is, and thank God this is an easy fix, or I hope it's an easy fix. move this here for now okay and then I'm going to select that select these make sure that I'm not affecting anything else but the, the sides there ooh what's going on here so this got moved as well. Okay, hold on. Awesome. Thank you so much, Sunny, man. Thank you for dropping by and hanging out with me, dude. Really, really appreciate it. All right, take care, man. Take care. Awesome. What a good guy. What a good guy. That's pretty good. Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, so now I need to go back to this here. And I need to fix this. Okay. Let's go up to the top. Let's 
squeeze these together. like that. Let's export this out. Okay, so yeah, so hiding it doesn't actually do anything, so I'm just going to remove the lid. Why is the pivot point so messed up? save that and then what we're gonna do here um what was I gonna do I was gonna do something oh what's going on okay so we got let's move this forward a bit Oh, it's the cartridge. Let me... Cartridge. Yeah, there's a hard edge here. Okay, I'm actually going to go and clean up a bunch of this stuff because right now it's getting really confusing. So I'm going to get rid of 
this base stuff. Input comp stuff. Uh, lid. Oh, this stuff. I'm just gonna get rid of all of it. Um, get rid of table. Stylize. Getting rid of all this stuff. Just kind of keep it nice and simple. So now we have the controller. And that's it. Okay. There we go. It's looking pretty cool. It's looking pretty cool. So now I'm going to do some renders. Some little quick renders. And then I think I'm going to call it for tonight. Um, and then I think we're going to be off to some UVing, and some texturing. Hold on, let me just quickly check to see how the console is actually looking like because I know that things were really dirty at one point. Nope, I think I cleaned up everything as best as I could, I think. Yeah, so things are, are looking pretty clean now. So, yeah, getting into some UVing and some texturing is going to be kind of cool. Kind of see all this stuff together. Um, will be neat. Um, let's do some quick renders here. What is it? F. Now, actually, hold on. Let's, let's play around with some of the cameras here. Um... Focus, depth of field. Let's go something like that. That maybe what's sticky focus let's see sticky focus enables the sticky focus feature which maintains the point of focus after the camera is repositioned mm. cool so there's something like that all right let's go camera two now the camera it's still floating to move the catcher up a tad bit no the catcher is fine I think I have to just move the wires down a little bit more I'll just have to adjust the wires a little bit more for next time. Um, okay, so cam. Oh shoot! I changed the camera. Okay, so camera two, I think, was like the back side. Something like that, maybe. Trying to make this a little bit more interesting. Okay, so camera two, let's go depth of field. Something like that. 
that. Cool. Camera three. Just looked at the field. Let's go something like that. Near blur. Let's go far blur. Something like that would be really cool. Camera four. Near blur. Let's go. Right. And then camera five, last but not least. This one. Let's do depth of field. Yeah, let's go something like that. That I think would be cool. Let's go. Let's use a safe frame. Oh my god! I didn't know this feature. That's such so much better. Oh my god. Camera two, safe frame. Camera one, safe frame. Oh my god! That's legendary. Okay, that changes everything. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's go take some renders here. Um, let me just save this, all these settings. Um, cool, cool, cool. Oh no, I just changed that, didn't I? There we go. Capture and open is F10. Let's go and do that. Cool. Camera two, ten. It's just cool to kind of see the progress of the project. There we go. Pretty awesome. Okay. Main camera, save. All right, thank you so much for watching. See you guys again next time. If you guys enjoyed it, obviously press the follow button. Um, I'll see you guys again next time. Peace out.